Hey everybody! The weather is nice outside today. It's early morning and we agreed to go camping with Mikey. All I have to do is gather my tools. The time we agreed to meet is coming up. They'll be coming for me soon to make sure I've got everything I need. Pants put, socks a couple of pairs also took with me, and also did not forget the windbreaker. The most important thing left to take is my tools. After all, you can't go camping without them. You have to be ready for any challenge, okay? I think I got it all together. We just have to wait for Mikey. I think he's here. I wonder what he took with him on our hike. We are going for a few days after all. I'm on my way, Mikey. Wait a bit. He's so stubborn. You're late, too. Hey, JJ. You ready for our super duper weekend? I hope you brought everything with you and didn't forget anything. Oh, of course I got it all. I've got a pickaxe, a bat, a shovel, and an axe. So I'm fully equipped for our camping trip with you. JJ, you amaze me. You and I are going on a picnic. Why would you bring all that stuff with you? A picnic? I thought we were going camping in the woods. You didn't fall anywhere, did you? I told you, picnic. Camping's too hard. All right, well, I think we can all use it. Anyway, I've got everything we need. So we'll figure it out on the spot. Anyway, nothing is going to stop us from having a good time. All right, let's go find a place to camp. Where do you want to set up our camp? We can go behind the village on the edge of the forest. That's not good. Why don't we go to the river and pitch tents on the bank? Why didn't I think of that before? Let's go over there. Let's go. Three hours later. We've been going long enough. Yeah, look at that. It's just past midnight. We need to speed up so we can still set up our tents. We're already near the river. Why don't we stop at the first bank? I think it's the right thing to do. And here comes the perfect spot for our campground. This looks really great. Let's stop here then. It's just a beautiful place. And a sandy beach. What could be better than all that? Then this is where you and I are staying. Let's get everything ready to set up camp. I forgot to bring fishing rods so we could fish. That's okay. I'll make them with the axe I brought with me. You'd better get the tent set up first and then do the other stuff. Okay, I'll take care of everything now and you put the basket away and come on, you can help me. Yeah, sure, I'll help you now. It'll be dark soon, let's hurry up. I'm waiting for you. That's it, our camp is set. Oh yeah, we made a very cool camp. Now we can just relax. I would just love to go swimming in the river right now. All right, I think we've had enough of this for a couple days. Sure, look at the angle I made myself. It's got soda coolers and a really soft mattress in the tent. My angle is pretty good too. Also, look at the view, quiet river, beautiful fields. It's all nature, Mikey, it makes such beauty. Whoa, haha! -ha. you decided to go swimming after all. Of course, how could you miss a moment like this? Now we need to go to the fire and warm ourselves there. Do you hear that? I think it's over there somewhere. It's like someone's walking through those bushes. I'm kind of freaking out right now. What if there's a wild wolf out there? Stop being afraid of everything around JJ. I'm gonna see what's out there. It could be dangerous. Come on, you're gonna be fine. Keep your bat ready. I hope it was just the wind. I feel a bit uneasy. We're all alone and there's wildlife all around. He's been gone a long time. I wonder if he's all right. Mikey, you can hear me. Are you all right? I'm starting to worry. What if wild animals took him? Mikey, give me some kind of sign. You're going back? Where the hell is he? Mikey! JJ, I heard you on the other side of the woods. What are you yelling about? I was starting to worry that you'd been away for a while. It's no big deal, but I found something in there. I got it from over there. I don't think there's any rustling around in there. What's going on in there? Look what cool toys I found in there. Where did you get them? You need to get them back. What? Don't you like them and want to keep them? No, Mikey, they're kind of weird and disturbing. They're cute as can be. Don't you think it's weird that they were in the woods? It happens. I don't want to take them back. They're lonely. You're acting like a child, Mikey. Tell you what, since you don't like them so much, I'll take them and they'll sleep in my tent with me. Well, all right, I'm not sorry. That's it then. You sit here by yourself and I'll go to bed with my new friends. Mikey, they're just toys. They're not alive. Stop acting like that. I can't hear you and I don't want to talk to you. You sit here alone now and I'm going to bed. Okay, Mikey, good night. He's acting like a little kid clinging to some obscure toys. Okay, I'm going to bed too. I'll talk to him tomorrow.
What's that sound? Did the wolves come to smell the food? What the hell is that? Where did it come from? It's some kind of weird monster. This is the first time I've ever seen one. What kind of cat is that? It looks very dangerous. I need to wake Mikey up quietly. Hey, JJ, what's that noise in here? Look at this. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of monster. Holy turtles, what are they? Don't make any noise. I don't want him to see us. I think you told me too late, and he's looking right at us now. Oh my god, I think he's gonna eat us. Hey, what are you guys playing here without us? What the hell is that? We're Mikey's friends. We want to play with you. I told you they were creepy, Mikey. Come on, we'll just play with you, and then we'll cook on the fire. Just don't get nervous, or you'll get tough and unpalatable. Mikey, get out of here. Why didn't I listen to you, JJ? We'll talk about that later. Right now, our job is to escape these monsters. We'll hide from them in the woods. JJ, just run. They're right behind us. We'll still catch up with you. Come to us. They are very scary and dangerous. We have to figure out how to get rid of them. For now, we just have to run and look for places to retreat. There's nothing you can do. Don't you realize that? JJ, look over here. There's an abandoned school. Yes, Mikey. It's a great place to get lost in their vision. We should run in there and try to hide for a while. You want to play hide and seek with us? We absolutely agree. Then run quickly. Jesus, Mikey, they're really crazy. We got to get away from them. Come here, my good ones. We'll catch you. Hurry up and get inside. Don't forget to close the door behind you. Yeah, that's right. They can't open the door. You sly little creatures. We'll get you anyway. My God, what horrible creatures. Why do we deserve such horrors? How come we're hiding from monsters at night in an abandoned school? I don't know myself, JJ. We have some kind of terrible fate with you. Well, let's leave them here and go for a walk around the school. Aren't you scared, JJ? What if there are ghosts in here? Don't worry, there's no one here. But it looks creepy. JJ, look, this is important information for everyone. It's true. Guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. You will help us a lot in promotion. It will be our pleasure and we can continue to please you with cool videos. Let's move on. I think our viewers have had it. Let's see what else is interesting here then. I'm in, but I'm a little creepy walking around here anyway. Come with me to this classroom. Let's see what's in here. What are we supposed to do here? It's all abandoned and there's nothing to see. It's better than just sitting around waiting for the toy monsters to stop watching us. All right, it's true. At least we can have some fun here. Do you understand what's written on the board? Yes, of course. It's one of the easiest topics in geometry. That's true. What are you doing in my place, you two little villains? Who told you to get up there? I'm going to punish you. Jesus, Mikey, it's the ghost teacher. Do you see it too? It's horrible. I'm going to catch up with you and destroy you. Ah! Uh, run, Mikey! Just run! What's going on? Why are we being attacked by all sorts of evil things? Get out of my school before I kill you. Let's go, JJ. We have to hide from her now too. Why does everyone want to kill us? We haven't done anything. You're trespassing on my property. We didn't know. We wanted to hide here. I don't care. Run downstairs. No need to socialize with her. I don't understand why they attacked us all like that. It's a dead end, JJ. There's nowhere to go. You guys shouldn't have come here. I'm not letting you out of here. You're dead now. You'll pay for what you did. Oh my god, she's so ugly. We have to think of something fast. She's coming at us. We should just run, that's all. We can't beat it. Then run. She's very close to us. We have to go to the second floor. I'll catch you sooner or later. Come on, JJ. We'll find a way out of the building on the second floor. I agree. We have to find a way out without anyone seeing us. Otherwise, we won't survive a fight with four monsters. Except the teacher's ghost is already here. What, again? Get out of here while you're still alive. Run in here and close the door behind you quickly. Nothing's going to help you. Anymore. Stay away. God, she's so ugly. What in the world is going on? Meeting toy monsters and a teacher's ghost in a day is some combo. Yes, it's true. We gotta figure out a way to get out of this building. We have to run home. We need to find a better way out of this room. Room. It's true. It's dangerous to go out through the door. I think I have an idea, JJ. Look, there's a broken window. Yeah, Mikey, I can see that, but it's too high. There's a ladder, JJ. Let's go down and run straight toward the house. All right, Mikey. As long as those monsters don't see us, I just want to live in peace. That's all. It's going to be okay. Let's hurry downstairs while there's still time. There's no one downstairs. All right, Mikey. I'm coming down too. Just don't look down. I'm a little scared of heights. All right. Now we've got to get past this fence. Yeah, we should go quietly and just run away. Let's go find a place to get out, as long as we stay out of sight of the monsters. I think they're standing by the door waiting for us. Quiet, JJ. Here they are all standing around talking about something. Now we'll come up with a plan to get them out of there and figure it out. Why do we need a plan? They're standing there looking at
yelling at us. These are our victims. Hurry up and attack them. Oh no, Mikey, they saw us. They're gonna try to kill us again. Come here, we're gonna what? kill you all. You won't run away again. JJ, get to the hole in the fence now. When are they going to get off our backs? Why do we deserve this? We've got to get home. We're gonna make it, JJ. Just run fast, that's all. That's all we can do. They are very fast, I'm scared. We almost came running, but they're still close. Just run in the house, they can't get in there. I'm afraid we won't make it, they're very close. We'll still get you, sneaky little people. Get out of here, don't touch us, please. You must die tonight. You can't kill us, we're so much tougher than you. You're wrong. Get out of here. Pooh, Mikey, they can't open doors, lucky for us. But you have half a house made of glass. I'm afraid they might break it. Then we'll have to find a place to hide so they don't find us. You're hiding here for nothing. You don't think we can get in? Jesus, Mikey, you were right. We'll break all those windows and get rid of you. Get away from us. Don't get rid of us. We'll leave only when you're dead. And you've lived too long. Mikey, we just need somewhere to wait it out while they try to get in on us. But what do we do? They are circling us on every side and watching our every move. I understand. I don't like it myself. But just think about what we can do to make them forget about us. Maybe you have some room that doesn't have any windows. That's right, Mikey. I have a basement. There's no way they can get us out of there. Then we'd better get over there soon. We'll get you from outer space. Just surrender to us and you'll be free. No, we'll hide. I think they're cheating to keep us out of the basement. Yeah, JJ. I think you're right. Then we should just wait it out for a while. Maybe they won't hurt us anymore. Wouldn't you be scared to stay indoors for that long? I'm scared to stand in a house with four monsters staring at us. I almost forgot to close the door behind me. The main thing is that there are no windows and no extra passageways. It's true. We can at least stay here till morning. Just in time for a little break. I'm really tired of running. Totally agree with you. Jesus, Mikey, what are you walking around for? You didn't sleep? I wake up and realize that I don't hear anyone, and there is no fear that someone is around. I think we should go and see if those monsters are standing outside the house. All right, let's go, but let's be careful. Maybe they're waiting for us on purpose. I really hope it was just a bad dream and no one else wants to kill us. I believe that too, but we need to be sure. Let's go out and look carefully then. You first, I'm right behind you. Mikey, I don't see anybody. Nobody's looking out the window and I don't see anybody in the house. Let's go outside and get some fresh air then. It's a a good thing we're imagining things. Yeah, but I don't understand how that happened. But the important thing is that we're safe now. Let's go outside and see for ourselves. I can't see anyone at all. There's nothing around. I'm so glad we're okay. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought I'd never see blue skies again. Horrible nightmares are upon us. It was a living hell. That's true, JJ. The next day. It's a great day to go for a walk, but Mikey is sitting at his computer playing GTA 6. I'm bored on the street, JJ. Hello, everyone. Maybe you could explain to JJ that it's boring outside. Mikey, you've been playing for 15 hours straight. So what now? Let's take a little walk outside. I don't want to go there. What's there to do? Maybe there's something interesting out there. You're always pushing your own agenda. All right, let's go outside. That's better. I don't know why you didn't want to go right away. So what are your suggestions? Let's just take a walk around the village, see if there's anything going on there today. See, nothing interesting. Let's go back. Come on, Mikey. You just stepped outside. And I can already see that there's nothing interesting here. Let's go for a walk first, and then we'll come back and play on the computer. Why do you like going out so much? Because there are lots of things to do outside. Did you notice anything strange? You mean this banner? Grimace's birthday. And that's all that confused you? What else is wrong? I don't know what you're talking about. The whole city is covered in these billboards. Indeed, they are at every turn. There must be something cool going on there. We should go there. This is some kind of aggressive marketing. What do you think? Shall we go in there? It seems to me that if there are so many ads around, there must be something interesting. I agree with you. Let's see what's up. Going outside wasn't such a bad idea. Much better than sitting at home all day. Come on, hurry up. Hey, here we are at the right place. That's right. We need to go soon before all the seats are taken. Look how beautifully it's done here. It looks really cool. But there's already a lot of people there. Let's hurry up. You don't think there'll be room? Why should you and I take the risk? We'd better hurry up and get it over with. Okay, you're right. Let's go eat soon. Sounds like a great start to the day to me. As it was for me. Look how cool it is here. A lot of hard work has gone into creating this place. I'm just in awe of the way Tao did it. I totally agree. And how many people are here, all the tables are taken. I'm glad we've got this. You couldn't go anywhere like this before. Let's hope we made it in time and get the set we came for. Yeah, well, it's on practice.
practically everyone's desks, so they may not be there anymore. But I really hope we can get them. I think it's delicious. I want to try the sodas from this set. I'm pretty sure I've never tasted anything as good as this before. Let's wait for the cashier and try to place an order. And where do they all go when you need them at the register? Patience, Mikey. They'll be here soon. Don't panic. Finally, here comes our cashier. Now we'll order what we sewed on. Hello, welcome to our new cafe. Have you chosen what you'd like to buy yet? Yes, we'd like your new super set of birthday grimaces. And most importantly, a cool soda. Okay, great choice. You'll have $5 for two sets and a dollar for a soda. Wow, that's not cheap. How much you got? I've got one dollar. Okay, and I only got one dollars too. Tell me, do you have anything for two dollars? I'm sorry, but you'd better leave. When you get the money, come back. What? But how could you? What kind of service is this? Okay, JJ. It's okay. We'll try it some other time. But how could it be? I really wanted to try this kit. Yeah, it's really sad, but I think we'll get through it later. How expensive it is here. Now we need somewhere to make money. Hey, JJ, come here. Mikey, you're a little suspicious. That's right. I've got a plan. Why do I think this is a very bad idea? No big deal. We'll just get our own sodas. How are you going to do that? First, we have to wait until nightfall. Do you see anyone around, JJ? No, Mikey, what did you come up with? Just tell me. See, also, there's no one inside McDonald's right now, which means we can go in and try the menu. Wow, Mikey, how did that idea come to you? That's so cool. Let's hurry up and get inside, JJ. It's the right thing to do. We have to make it clear. I think the door is locked. We can't get in through the main entrance. What are we supposed to do now? We'll never know if it's delicious? No. We're definitely going in there. Let's go try to find an entrance on the other side of the building. Right. There must be a way out to the roof, for example. And we can get in from the top. Look, JJ. There's the stairs to the roof, just like you said. Let's get in there now. Let's see what the entrances are. Just make sure there's no one there. It's okay, JJ. Come on up. Let's find some openings. There's a ventilation system, but I don't even know if it's possible for us to get through it. No. That's definitely not an option. Well, now that sounds like a good way to go in. Yes, Mikey, definitely. This is some kind of office space. We can get into the hall from there. That's what I think, too. We need to take action. But how do we break this iron grate? I have the answer to that question in my pocket. You're well prepared. Dynamite can definitely help us break the bars. Go ahead and set the dynamite and stay back. It's a little nerve-wracking, but I really want to get in. Well done, JJ. Now we wait for the explosion. I hope there's enough explosive power. That's great, JJ. The dynamite worked perfectly. Yeah, that's a hole we can crawl through and get down, but it's too high to jump. I told you I was well prepared. I have everything I need to be inside the building. You really surprise me sometimes, Mikey. I'm shocked you thought of everything in advance. You get down here already. We're not going to make it if we don't. I'm on my way down. I can't wait to try everything I can. It's beautiful here. I can't help but look at this architecture. Yes, I agree. But let's get inside already and see what we can try. I agree, JJ. We're just at the checkout line now. I'm sure there's something here. It's a very cool feeling when no one else is around. Come and see what's in the fridge. Okay, I'm watching. Wow, JJ, there's a really nice cocktail in here. It's true, it looks very beautiful. We should try it soon. Let's try it together. Oh no, it's bad, JJ. What's that? The alarm was triggered by the cocktail? Yeah, JJ, we gotta run. The police will be here soon to investigate. Oh my god, this is so scary. We have to get home before someone sees us. Let's get up on the roof and run. Just don't panic. All right, Mikey, let's just do it fast and stay focused. Jump on the ladder and run home. There's nothing else we can do. Just run! I'm running, JJ. It's like no one around the police are on their way we have to run even faster and hide come on men let's go let's not let the robbers escape from here nobody move this is the police there's no one here and it doesn't look like there's been a robbery apparently the false alarm went off this is weird jesus mikey that was so scary let's hurry up and get in the house so there won't be any witnesses no one's here it's okay we got away with it then let's go to the second floor jj We've got a cocktail from there. That's right. We didn't come out of there empty-handed, so now we can finally give it a try. I'll try the first one if you don't mind. Yeah, sure, but make it quick. I really want to do it too. So, Mikey, how do you like the taste? This is delicious, JJ. It's the most delicious thing I've ever tasted in my life. Are you serious? Let me try. Wait, hold on. You're going to drink it all. Give me some too. I can't stop. It's too good, JJ. Now I'll give you a taste. Wait, Mikey, look. There's a grimace behind you. No, what? I hope you're kidding. No, he's not kidding. You shouldn't have broken in and stolen the cocktail. Oh my god, how did you even get here? Please don't touch us. We'll give you the money for this cocktail. No, you're not getting rid of me 
that easily. You broke in and robbed. Come on, we're sorry. We just wanted to try, that's all. You've done a bad thing, so I'm going to show you what the consequences can be. Don't, please, we get it. Give me your head, thief. What? Oh my god, how did you do that? JJ, I don't see anything. He ripped my head off. Now it's my head. Ha ha ha. Can somebody help me? Where am I? Get out of here before I rip your head off too. Oh my god, what a horrible thing that's happening right now. Just get out of here, Mikey. I don't know where I'm running to. Somebody help me. This is now my home in my head. Don't even think about coming back here, you thieves. How's Mikey gonna live without a head now? Just run away from him before he kills us completely. I don't know where I am, but I'm running. Mikey, stop. You're running in one lap. He'll kill us. I'm afraid to stop. Stop! You're gonna hit yourself. No! Jesus, Mikey, I told you to stop. You hit the wall. Come on, get up. That was pretty painful, JJ. Where's Grimace now? He stayed at your house with your head. Let's go to my place and think of something. I don't know where to go. Please help me. That's right. Come here to the sounds. I'll do the talking and you do the walking. All right, JJ, just watch me. Now we have to figure out what kind of head you're going to get for a while. We'll go inside now, and I'll look for better options for that. Okay, JJ, thank you. Come here to my sound. Now you stand up, and I'll try on your best fit. Okay, JJ, do you have a lot of options on this? I've got three different options, Mikey. With the first item, you'll be the cutest and most handsome boy ever. I can't see anything. What is it? Beautiful flower. No, JJ, we need something else. Two hours later. Now you're a green little man with a red apple on head. JJ, are you kidding me? Give me something normal. 20 minutes. Minutes later. How'd you like the TV? Well, JJ, at least I can see something. Let's go get my house in my head. Yeah, we'll be right there. But don't be in too much of a hurry. We need some powerful weapons. Hurry up and take it. What do you have in the chest? I have a powerful shotgun and lots of ammo. He sure can't survive something like that. Cool, JJ. Let's go get my dignity and my body part. He certainly won't be expecting such a thing. He must think he's the strongest after what he did to you. Now we're going to punish him for it. We stole his cocktail and he stole my head. That's a little unfair. It's true. All the more reason to show him we're not just petty thieves. Where is he, JJ? I thought you said he was at my house. That's what it was. Apparently, he went back to his cafe. Then we'd better get over there before he loses my head. Have you lost your fear or what? Why did you come to my house? It's not your house, it's mine. And we're about to show you what it means to take my head. What? Where'd you get the shotgun? Now you're gonna die for taking my friend's head. You can't live and terrorize us anymore. Please don't. I'll give you your head and your house. No, you will get what you deserve, and it is your destiny to die. Mikey, that's it. I've got your head now. Yay, it's done. Hurry up and give it to me. All right, stay where you are. I'll put the head on you. I'm standing, JJ. Just make it quick. How's that? Everything okay now? Yes, JJ. Thank you so much. You really helped me out a lot. I'm very happy, Mikey. The important thing is that this grimace won't bother us anymore. It's true. Let's go outside and see what we can do, because I like to see the world through my eyes. All right, Mikey, but don't take too long because I'm sleepy. Okay, so... Two thousand years later. Mikey and I are sitting at his house watching some weird cartoons on TV. Mikey, stop plugging away at this madness. Let's do something else. Look at this, JJ. It's so much fun. You could watch this forever. Why did you even bother to turn it on and watch it? There's nothing interesting here. Take a closer look. It's very funny. No, Mikey, there's nothing worse than watching a clown dance. You just don't understand what great creativity means. Be more patient and look more closely. Are you kidding me or something? That's not creative, Mikey. That's just stupid. I know. Calm down. I'm just kidding. I just love watching you get angry. You spent so much time on this, Mikey. It's awful. Wow. Look, there's a beautiful balloon flying right next to the house. Let's hurry up and catch it before it flies away. Yes, I agree. Especially since I remember exactly where the balloon went. We have to run after him, or I don't think there's any point in remembering where the balloon is. It's going very fast. It's not windy outside. I'm sure we'll be outside right now and the balloon will be right next to the house. Yeah, you're right. There's the balloon. Look how cool it's flying, Mikey. I really want to catch that balloon. I totally agree with you. I really like it too. But the balloon doesn't want to descend at all. We can't jump that high and get it. We need to go after it. Sooner or later, it's sure to start falling and that's when we'll catch it. I think we're going to have a long run for the balloon, Mikey. There's no other option. If you don't want to run, you can go home. I'm going to run. I'm so tired 
already and the balloon is still too high. Soon it will start to fall, I'm sure. Be patient. Yeah, look, it's already starting to fall. Hurry up and catch it, Mikey. I'll get it. Hurry up. Oh no, Mikey, we've been chasing him for so long. What made it explode? We were so excited to play with the balloon. Because you should have caught it earlier. I wouldn't have had time. It just started coming towards me and burst right away. I don't understand why it blew up in here. There's nothing here. How the hell should I know? Come on, let's go home, Mikey. It's getting really late in here. That's right. Wait, stop, guys. Did you hear that? Yes, I heard it, but I didn't realize where the sound was coming from. I think the sound came from this sewer. There's no one else around here. I guess you and I were just imagining things. Yeah. No, guys, you're not imagining things. I'm really here. Would you like to play with me? I'm really bored here. Wow, what a weird guy. What are you doing in there? Maybe you need some help getting out. No, guys, I'm fine here. Do you want to play with me or not? What's there to play with you? You're sitting in the sewer. So you just sit there and ask everyone to play with you? Yeah, guys. Do you want to play with me? Well, this is all very strange. No, we're not playing with you. You're very mean. Then I'll go back to living in my sewer. Bye, then. We're going home, too. No, don't listen to him. Please come back. I'm ready to play with you. Is that right? You're not lying to me? That's just great. I think so, too. Especially since you're really bored out there by yourself. It's really weird, JJ. Let's go home. What are we going to play with you? What do you want to do? I'll take you with me, little man. Let me go. No, don't touch me. Ah! JJ, Jesus, why did you even go after him? Can you hear me? What am I supposed to do now? Where did this strange, weird creature take my friend? Maybe this is a joke and now JJ will be back? I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. JJ, answer me, please. No one's answering. Looks like that creature really did take my friend somewhere. It turns out I have a friend to save. Then I should run for help before that monster hurts JJ. I should run to the police and ask for help. I'm scared to go in there alone. JJ, hold on, I'll save you, I'll help you. Two hours later. We're standing right here, cop! My friend leaned over and the monster just grabbed him and dragged him into the sewer. Are you serious? Why did your friend go up there in the first place? Because this creature asked to play with him. That's weird. I tried to call out to him, but no one would answer. I'm afraid my friend is in a very bad place right now. I don't understand how this happened at all. I told you! But what kind of creature lives in the sewers and asks to play with it, and then takes him back to his place? I don't know. Well, I don't know what kind of scary, made-up story you're telling me either. It's nonsense. I absolutely don't believe it. What? Why? I told you everything as it happened. My friend is in danger and I can't help him without your help. We've got to get in there and find him. Please trust me. You keep asking? No, this is crazy. I'm not going in there. Some monster took a friend. I can't believe it. Next time, I'll arrest you for slander. You try to tell me scary stories at night. Please, policeman, stop. Well, he just walked away and didn't believe me. What am I supposed to do now? I can't just leave my best friend in delirium, can I? But I'm really scared. Okay, I'm gonna have to go out there and find JJ after all. I can't live with myself knowing that I abandoned him. Hopefully everything will be okay and I'll find him. All right, let's go to the sewer. Uh, ouch, that was pretty painful. Where am I? What a creepy dungeon. But I can't give up. I have to save my friend and we're gonna go play soccer with him. What is this place anyway? Some kind of door with a very scary face on top. It's like a road to hell. It seems that this creature is not so simple and harmless, but very scary and dangerous. Even though I don't particularly want to go there, I'm not backing down. I have to save JJ through fear and terror, so there's no time to waste. I don't have any confidence in this door. I don't want to go in there at all. Okay, enough with the fear. Whoa, stop. What the hell is that? Is that a camera that's following me? So the monster knows I'm here. I gotta run. God, that door is heavy. How does it open? Oh yeah, right. Now it's time to look for JJ. But what am I looking at here? Oh no, I guess I'm in for a life and death experience. I'm gonna have to work really hard to save JJ. If I make a wrong move, I'll end up in red hot lava and I'll never see the world again. It would be very hard and very scary. But I'm the strongest, bravest, and toughest guy to save my best friend. So I will pass this test and save JJ. Just don't look down, that's all. Okay, it's time for me to move on. I don't think I'll have any trouble getting through this, even though I'm really scared. The first jump was pretty straightforward. We need to do a few more of these and we'll be all set. I'm so cool. The important thing is not to look down and see the lava, then everything will be easy. That's it, one last jump left. 
Yay, I made it all the way through. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Hopefully it will be easier there. This place must be some kind of maze with high walls, but I can't see how big it is. But apparently this maze is huge and I need to find the only way out. It's a bit unusual, but I think it's less scary than jumping over lava. Although if you get lost here, you could be trapped inside these walls for the rest of your life. I've walked around a bit, and I'm still not at all sure where I need to go. What a lot of different passages there are. I don't even know where I am. I think I'm lost. I'm starting to panic a little bit about it. I can't even see how huge the maze is and where I need to go. I'll have to memorize where the dead ends are and what I need to do to get out. But something inside me tells me I'm gonna have to walk a long way to get out of here. But what you don't do to save a friend. I really hope JJ is alive and I'm sure he's waiting for me and believes in me. JJ, I'll save you, friend. Oh, my head hurts so bad. Oh my God, where am I? Where did that monster take me? Ah, how many horrible skeletons are there? I hope I don't suffer the same fate as those poor guys. Why did I even bend over to that horrible psycho in the first place? I really hope Mikey calls someone for help and saves me from here. My God, there's a lot of bones here. I never imagined such a creature could do this. It's just horrible horrible and so much jewelry this is his lair only i can't see the monster i really hope i can get out of here in one piece i heard something oh no there's that monster how could such a seemingly sweet creature do such horrible things wow my boy you're awake already stay back you monster don't touch me why are you being so rude you wanted to play with me i didn't know you were a monster who kills people but you choose to play with me or not and what you see is my merit and your consent. So I'm not a monster. I just like to play with funny boys like you. But how can you call it a game if you kill people? It's horrible. You don't get to decide how I play. You're just a toy in this world. You're awful. I'm sure I'll get out of here and you'll be finished. <laughs> You're very funny. Hey, you monster, don't touch my friend. I've passed all your horrible tests and I'm ready to get revenge on you for stealing JJ. Go, Mikey, kill her. Don't give her a chance. How did you get through all that? What the hell is this? I'd do anything to save my friend, but you wouldn't understand that. You you did it, Mikey. You saved me. Thank you so much. All that's left is to get you out of that cage. There's a latch. You just need to open it and the door can be unlocked. Yeah, I got you. I'll get it. Finally. I was so afraid that monster would kill me and I'd never come home again. I went through such trials to save you. It's just awful. Yes, I understand. There's just so much more interesting stuff lying around. All right. That's enough standing around. Let's go home quickly. Mikey, wait. Look at all the jewelry left in here. We can take it all back. It's no one else's. Why should good things go to waste when we can take it and be rich. Look, you're right. There's a lot of gold here. We should 100% take it all home. Then let's hurry up and get it all in. At least it's a plus that monster took me here. Yep, that's true. Although you could have been very badly hurt and shouldn't expect to be rescued anymore. Come on, the monster's already been killed. It's time to forget this. Get all that gold and go home. Okay, JJ, I agree. A few moments later. I can finally see our houses. I was so afraid I'd never be here again. Okay, JJ, enough with the reminiscing. The important thing is that we're home and we're rich. We have so much gold we can just throw it around left and right. Okay, JJ, this is all fun, but it's really late and I want to go to bed. Yes, Mikey, I agree. I'm going to bed now, too. Good night, JJ. I'm glad it ended well. And good night to you, Mikey. Thank you so much for saving me. I would never abandon my friend. Yes, Mikey really is a true friend. The kind you should cherish and keep for a lifetime. Doesn't let it